Osparov is a much feared opponent and a man Magnus will meet next. I don't know uh, which animal he is at most, but uh, something like a lion could be, could be a possibility. I think he's, uh, he's, he's the, the, the greatest chess player who ever lived. He's so much into the game that um, well, he, he can, his, his behavior can be uh, quite obnoxious. Magnus is preparing for the big match in his own way. Yes, this match is quite interesting. I think it's a great opportunity for Magnus, but I think he has no big chance in this match today, with full respect. Magnus is ranked number 700 in the world, and Kasparov is ranked number one. There are 28 years separating the two. This is an historic moment. Kasparov has never played against anyone this young. Kasparov has been paid a lot of money to be at this tournament, but he is nowhere to be found. The others have already started their games and the clocks are ticking. Magnus is ready, but Kasparov just isn't showing up. I sat and waited on Kasparov, so I was like, I thought, can he not come soon? So I tried to get to sleep. Dad is nervous. The whole family has prepared for this match, and it's tiring to have to sit and wait like this. I would like to play against him. Good morning, Mr. Kasparov. Magnus is leading by one pawn, but he doesn't have much time left. A draw. It's a sensation. Magnus managed to draw against Kasparov. Kasparov couldn't beat Magnus. Magnus mødte Kasparov og pressede ham ganske hårdt øh, med hvid. Det blev remi. Og bare det, at han ligesom spiller lige op med Kasparov i et enkelt parti, jamen det tror jeg er et drøm for mange spillere, og det lykkedes for en, for en 13-årig. Det beviser et stort potentiale.